Hello, sir. Welcome to Pragati Vichar Literature Festival. It's one of a kind 24 hours nonstop author marathon. And we are glad to have you here. It's like really, it's up because like you're obviously a national award winning film director and you're like writing your first book. So we are obviously going to be talking about your book and about your films and a lot more, but specifically about the life of Shomitra Chatterjee because that is the that is the main matter of your book, and I'm really keen on knowing a lot of things. We'll discuss so much, and let's get to it. So, so my first question would be that uh, we all know you are a director. People, you're a public figure. People know about you. But what is who is the real Shumon Ghosh? What what? Yeah. A real what, Shumon Ghosh meaning? Uh, as in like in what, what drives you? What makes you do what you do? See, uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me to your uh, wonderful festival. And uh, the first question is a very deep philosophical question that you have asked. Uh, you know, not, not that I have thought about this quite uh, often or ever probably, but who is the real Shuman Ghosh? And I think for any individual, uh, you know, it is a uh, agglomeration of different avatars of an individual. Yes. Uh, you know, even for you, you are maybe some, you know, you're as a daughter, as a, a partner, as a student of geography or, you know, whatever. So, yes. so uh, I think I cannot categorize myself who is the real. So all of it combines makes who I am. My avatar as a professor of economics, uh, you know, my avatar as a father, as a, you know, husband, as a filmmaker, and probably now it is added, uh, you know, a writer. So, uh, you know, all of this makes who I am. And uh, yeah, so I, I wouldn't, uh, I, I uh, honestly, you have stumped me in the first question. I haven't thought about like that, who exactly I am. Uh, so, so I'll probably get uh, make it. So, my I was very curious to know the journey of you being from a film director to a writer, because I recently read in one of your interviews that you said that you chose writing because it's a more intimate process over making a, a documentary. Documentary, yeah. Yes. So, can you elaborate on it? What drove you? Why this? Okay. See, first of all, I do write regularly uh, in the newspapers, in okay. uh, editorials and op-eds. Yeah. And, and that is for the last, I would say, 10, 15 years. I have written a lot for Telegraph. And in fact, some of the chapters in the book are, uh, you know, uh, taken from Telegraph or Anandavajar Putrika. And they graciously agreed to uh, give it the thing. So whenever I have felt about something... Um, and and not necessarily about films. I've written about economics in Ananda Bajar Putrika and uh, social issues and, you know, some political issues or history, uh, anything and everything. I, I do write regularly. But writing a book, I have never thought, uh, mainly because I, you know, didn't get time. And also I was uh, involved with my film uh, ventures and stuff like that. So uh, the entire credit for this goes to the editor, Shantanu Roy Chudri of okay. my book who actually, after Shomitra Kaku passed away, Shomitra Chatterjee, I call mm -hmm. Kaku, yes. after he passed away last year, in, in, in November 15th, uh, you know, uh, he offered me whether I would be interested because, you know, I have worked with uh, him in five films and not only worked with him, I, you know, he became my uh, sort of father figure. So uh, he said that uh, probably you are one of the closest to, to Shomitra Chatterjee during the last uh, days of its, you know, the last 10, 15 years. So, uh, you know, would you want to write? About? So I was actually quite, uh, after his demise, I, I didn't know how to uh, take that in because he was always like, you know, like how our, we feel about our parents, mm. that they will always remain for uh, there for us always. So, uh, you know, I was uh, in deep trauma, honestly, after his passing away. And when Shantanu offered me this uh, prospect of writing a book, I thought that why not uh, be forward looking and, uh, you know, relive my experiences with him so that I can, you know, look forward from here on, because after all, life should continue. 
you know, however, uh, and, and, and particularly in the last year, uh, the entire world has gone through so much of trauma. We all have lost our loved ones. And, but for Shomitra Kaku's demise, it was, uh, you know, a shock, not only personally, but artistically, because, you know, I so many films I've worked and uh, even in films which he didn't work, you know, I discussed a lot. So the I took a lot of help from him in other ways also. So that made me a writer when the okay. offer came from uh, own international so, office. Yeah. So, sir, would you say that, you know, we have the stereotype, we say when artists have a grief in their life, they turn to art, to, you know, as a coping mechanism of sorts. So would you say it's a true? it's true for you? Sorry, come again with the question. Yeah, so when artists like they face an un unfortunate circumstance or something, they mm -hmm. generally turn to art for you know for some solace. So sure. So, so a good good thing since you asked about this because in the book there are a couple of instances where uh, Shomitro Chatterjee, when uh, in such situations of deep trauma, for example, many of the people know that. His uh, grandson met with an almost fatal accident uh, three, yes. four years back. Yes. And I have seen such other uh, periods of his life when he was uh, shaken by something as deep as what I just explained to you. And I have seen that he has, uh, you know, always resorted to, you know, writing his next play or he used to paint, you know, towards the latter half, uh, later years of his life. So that was definitely for him and uh, Solis. Uh, and of course, the, you know, the greatest person who I always tell everyone who is going through a lot of, uh, uh, you know, bad times or mishaps in life. I, I say that read Rabindranath Thakur's biography, because the amount of trauma and sadness that he went yes, in his yes. life, nobody else can think about that. But he, uh, you know, churned out poems even in the deepest, uh, you know, sad uh, part, more poor portions of his and life. Probably, so, that, uh, is, probably sorry, that is what added to the essence of the... Exactly, exactly. That that came out as an art. So, you know, for me, I, I and you rightly pointed out, writing this book was a, a cathartic experience for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I felt much better actually writing it because... Uh, at least I could pass on to uh, readers of uh, you know generations that this is what I had my uh, interaction with uh, such an icon. Yeah. And uh, so the other question that I really want to know is, uh, so there are a bunch of other biographies about Shomitra Chatterjee's life, but what makes the one that you wrote different? Like what makes it stand out? Is it the narrator's style or the fact that you've known him so well? Is there any biography? I, I don't know. Uh, I know there, are, there are some. There are some. Like, will we get okay. a more personal, personal touch? Yeah. To so, uh, see, I didn't want to write a typical biography of uh, uh, starting from his childhood and then, you know, his films and whatever. I thought that rather than a biography, this will be my memoir, you know, okay. of his interactions. And... I did not think that there is, uh, or I at least I don't know of, you know, such artist interactions where a director is writing about his uh, actor, uh, his or her actor. Now, um, you know, because uh, a director-actor's relationship is often like, uh, you know, spousal relationship also mm -hmm. when they work yes. on a film. So with Chomu Chukaku, it was like that. It was a, uh, and, and, and what I wanted to, because... I wanted a larger canvas from this book that rather than being a personal, uh, you know, memory chronicle of my interaction with Shomitra Chatterjee, I wanted it to be an experience for future actors and artists of generations in future who will know about his preparation and, you know, uh, how he prepared for a role, how was he as a person, because for an artist, how he is as a person is, is so important because it contributes to the art also in many ways. Yes. So I, uh, I I didn't know of any book which uh, writes about uh, such an interaction between a uh, director and a... For example, Shomitra Kaku has a book on Shottojit Rai called Master and I, yes. uh, where he writes his interactions with Shottojit Rai. Yes. But uh, you know, uh, I wanted the other way around that, you know, yes. when I'm working with such an icon and I'm just a novice in the industry, 
you know, how did we work so that it has a larger point. The book is just not a chronicle of our uh, instances of interaction, but it has the larger point of the life of a portrait of an artist, actually. So coming to that, I mean, you were a novice in the industry, but you led to him winning a national award in, on your first film right, with him. Right, right. So what was that like? That is like, that probably is mind-blowing. Yeah. So uh, I would say that it is um, a, a very unfortunate, uh, it was very unfortunate that before 2007, he did not get the national award performing in so many uh, memorable Ray films, not only Ray films, uh, Minal Sen, Topom Sena, and his commercial films also. Uh, he never got a national award, so that was a travesty. But I used to, uh, so when he got the national award for my very first film, mm -hmm. you know, uh, everybody was taken aback and, uh, you know, and used to mention what I just told you, that he it was so much, uh, it was uh, unjust that he did not receive it but I told Shomitra Kaku often that I will take it because through that national award, I started my career. So riding on his shoulder and his national award at that age, of course, national award didn't matter to him because he got so many international awards bigger than that. He got the Padma Bhushan and later he got the Dada Sahib Falke Award also. But for me, it was extremely important. So I said that I will take that, you know, I did that, you know, you got the award. I also know that he has done much better performances rather than my film and uh, no doubt about that but uh, that is how it turned out to be i would say in my favor <laughs> no but sir i really want to know which angle of him moved you as an actor because when you're directing someone there has got to be like you do you usually write a character thinking about the actor who would probably be performing mm -hmm. it or do you like write a character and the actor sort of molds himself into it so no, um, uh, I, I have a face in mind when I write my scripts okay. and uh, that has is pluses and minuses also. For example, uh, if, for example, if I don't get that actor or that actor doesn't want to work in that movie yes. or film, then it's a really bad situation. But somehow, at least in my Bengali films, I have lucked out on that and they have agreed whoever I have kept uh, in mind and wrote. And I had a very strict uh, you know, communication with my uh, producers also before. Okay. So when I was, uh, you know, when I wrote Kadambori, mm -hmm. uh, I said that if Konkona doesn't do Kadambori, I will not do the movie also. Okay. Because I wrote it with her in mind. Right. And, you know, that was a big risk because Konkona, um, I don't think apart from, uh, you know, when, when she agreed to do Kadambori, mm -hmm. except uh, her mother's film, Dopona Shen and Ritupana Ghosh, she okay. hardly did any Bengali films. True. So it was a very, very big risk that I took that after writing yes. the script, I, you know, uh, said that I will do it only if Konkona agrees or say, for example, in Nobel Chor, when Mithun Chakravarti did that role. Yes. He was not a regular in Bengali films. Then, you know, uh, he did one or two Bengali films. Uh, and, uh, you know, I told my producer, if Mitunda doesn't do that role, I will not do the movie. So but that is uh, unfortunate. But with Shomit Yogaku, of course, I was in trepidation for my first film. Mm -hmm. But after that, it became such a relationship that I knew that, uh, you know, he will be very interested in working with me. And, you know, I could uh, uh, crib like a child that you have to do it. So so for Shomit Yogaku, it was so uh, to go back to your answer, question. Yes, I do have a mind in, you know, when I write the screenplay of any uh, film, yeah. That was really nice to know. But then also the other thing that I wanted to know, so we all as Bengalis know that Shomitra Chatterjee is probably the only actor, Shatiji Pre, you work with so many times, right? Because he generally does not stick to one actor for all his films. So as a director, I want a director's perspective on it as to why do you think that happened? See, first of all, I think uh, at least uh, for Shottujitra, I can say that uh, uh, you see the different genres that he has worked in. Yes. And hence his main protagonists needed to be so malleable that, you know, for example, if you think of Oshuni Shanket, where Shomitro was a, you know, villager. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, in Charulata, we all know what, you know. So if you see the range of characters in, in a film like... Uh, Shaka Prashaka, he was a mentally deranged person. So I think Shruti Chitra saw the, uh, you know, uh, 
the variety of uh, roles, avatars that he can get from Shomitra Chatterjee. And uh, that lured him. And as I told you before, also a personal relationship develops. You're more comfortable with that uh, person. And it is like a... Um, And for, and for me, I can say that for probably the similar kind of thing. So, you know, he has worked in uh, Podok Cape as an old retiree, in uh, Dondo as a, you know, a doctor, very uh, you know, arrogant doctor. In, um, you know, uh, Nobel Tour, he did a, a cameo for me, guest appearance, where he was a school teacher. So I could explore a lot of different types of characters dif representing different strata of society, the different personalities through him. And I wanted to explore more uh, because uh, I, I thought that uh, the, uh, his, the depth of uh, his artistic depth was so much that it can be explored so much more than what I could do in my five films. And of course, there is Shruti Itra and, you know, I would definitely mention Tapan Sena, who has utilized him so much in, in his films too. Yeah. So would you uh, mind giving us a little tidbit on your personal relationship with Shomitra Chatterjee? I mean, like, what was it like? And how did it transcend from like a person, you refer to him as Shomitra Kaku. So how did it transcend yeah. from Shomitra Kaku to some, like a director directing him? So what was it like? So it, Shomitra Kaku happened later uh, in the sense, so I, I, I think I give a detailed description in the book. Uh, so, you know, okay. so, but in, in summary, I would say that when I first came, I met him on the sets of a movie where I was an, just an observer hanging around because I wanted to do movies later. So it was a movie by uh, the acclaimed director, Gautam Ghosh. It was the movie called Rekha, where Shomitra was the main uh, hero. And this was, I think, uh, 2000, the shooting was happening. And I came and I'm just hanging around. I saw him. So initially for a few months uh, or a few days, for sure, I didn't have the courage to go to and speak to him also. And uh, so, um, you know, slowly, slowly the transformation happened where, you know, once I met him, I realized that he had... Uh, he didn't give a damn of what his teacher was or whatever. So he was just a curious child, curious mind, you know. And, uh, you know, I, uh, slowly, slowly, I realized that that difference is not important to him at all also. Uh, and that shouldn't to me. And somehow we clicked somewhere. And of course, after we started working, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, as I, again, uh, write in detail in the book of how the transformation from the Shomitra strategy to the Shomitra Kaku happened uh, over time. Yeah. Okay. So even like while reading uh, of some of about some like through some of your interviews, I read that mm. your children met him once. Like you mm. took them to his house and uh, so I would like to know. So obviously your first film on him was about his relationship with a much younger person. And I yeah. happen to, I happen to, as an audience, one of my best experiences of watching him was in a very simple film called March Mishti Moore, where he sort of interacted with a girl my age. And it's just the simplicity mm. of it. So mm. do you think, like, how did he change from like being, like the whole transformation from being the lead to being playing someone's uncle, but doing it so beautifully at the same time? What, what do you... No, so, see, at the core of his... Uh, he At the core, he's uh, like a child, you know, in okay. the sense that his curiosity and his uh, 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 interests and all, it's like a child who wants to know about this, that, and, you know, whatever. So, uh, since you mentioned about my daughters, when they were... I think uh, three and five years old. So I have two daughters. One was five years, one was three years. And they went to his house. And, uh, you know, in fact, there's a chapter of her, his relationship with my daughters in this okay. book. Uh, where, uh, you know, yeah. Where uh, the, they became really good friends. And, uh, you know, towards the uh, last year, actually, during the pandemic, Okay. They saw uh, Shonar Killa for the first time. Okay. They were a little bit grown up now. Now they are nine and seven. And they, they loved it. And they used to call him Shonar Killa Dadu. 
you know, <laughs> and uh, left him a, a video message also after seeing the movie, which uh, his daughter Polumi the Polumi showed it to him. Then he responded again to my daughter. So this used to go on intercontinental friendship uh, uh, with someone who is eighty years younger to him in age. Uh, yes. With uh, like my he was around eighty five when my daughters were then five and three. And there's a wonderful incident which I write in the book where he goes to, uh, they go to his house and ransack his house to make a, a fairy fantasy land for them to play, you know. And he was the one who was indulging. I were, uh, me and my wife were very, very embarrassed of what is going on there. But he was the one who was encouraging them to do that uh, even more. So, uh, yeah, it was a very uh, sweet relationship which he had with my daughters, yeah. Okay, so uh, coming to Shonar Kerala, so I think every Bengali child is encouraged to watch that movie, and that is probably our first, you know, revelation of right. beautiful cinematic universe. So, what was your first Shomitra Chatterjee film that you've seen, and what was it like? Or Shonar Kerala again, you know, as you yeah. rightly said, when you are young, like uh, yes. when we were in school in whatever. See, to be honest, even if we have seen Charulata or Upu Shangshar, that didn't get, create such an impact as Shonar exactly. Kerala. Or I remember Joy Baba Felunath released when exactly. uh, we yeah. were around uh, 10, 12 years old. So the impact with uh, uh, Joy Baba Felunath and Shonar Kerala was much more. So uh, initially, Shomitra Chatterjee was the Feluda for us. Yes. And I would say at you know, later when I was in college, in Presidency College and whatever, yes. where uh, I, we seriously started watching Satyajit Ray's films and realized, you know, uh, the the greatness of uh, his films and uh, the greatness of the acting prowess of Shomitra Chatterjee in films like Opu Shamsha, Charu Lata and many others, Oshoni Shanket, Aurunak Dindratri and all. But uh, as uh, you also pointed out, for you also, for us also, our entire generation, it was Shonar Killa and Joyba Feruna, which made the most uh, impact uh, on us. Yeah. Yes. So one more controversial question I have in life, which is Uttam or Shomitra? See, I don't, I am a big fan of Uttam Kumar uh, too, okay. like uh, unbelievably uh, I found. But I would believe that, you know, there are certain roles which Uttam could not do. For example, I can say that, uh, say the role in Oshoni Shanket of the mm. school teacher. I think Uttam Kumar was too sophisticated a person. Okay. in his mannerisms, in his charisma and all. Mm -hmm. And I honestly have never seen him break that uh, and uh, in, to get into character where, say, he plays a school. I, I have not seen, maybe there might be, mm -hmm. uh, you know, break it completely and play a very normal character. And he basically, he was a star, you know. Right. But for Shomitra, uh, the, you cannot say that because the amount of variety of performances he has done, you know, uh, representing different strata of society, different background, different, you know, it was, I, I think the range was more for Shomitra. But again, if you think about it, Nayak Shotujitra could not have done with Shomitra. He wanted Uttam Kumar. So mm -hmm. that that charisma, that elan and whatever. So, uh, you know, uh, I it is difficult for me to rate uh, things. So I would also say that as a romantic hero, if you ask me, uh, Uttam Kumar is unparalleled, you know. Uh, right. you, and, and the greatness of Uttam Kumar is he will pull off very silly films, very silly roles, which with, you know, with uh, other actors, it will be very neka neka, you know, but he will pull off anything, you know, he give, you give him any material, he will just pull off with, uh, with smartness, just because of its charisma and things like that. Yes. So as a romantic hero, definitely, uh, I would say Uttam Kumar, but um, as, again, I'm, I, I shouldn't say just a star, because I am a very big fan of Uttam Kumar's acting uh, too, in, in, uh, very popular film. You see, Uttam Kumar never worked with uh, directors uh, like with Shotujitra. He's done two films, but not in so many like Shomitra. I think did seventeen films with uh, yes. Shotujitra, and uh, I don't think Uttam Kumar has worked with uh, Topon Sena also. Definitely not with uh, Ritik Ghatak. So he has more been a commercial uh, cinema hero. 
and I really wish that uh, you know filmmakers like Tapon Sina and uh, you know others. No, Tapon Sina definitely has worked. Jinder Bundi was Tapon Sina's, but you know, you know what I mean. Like you know, different okay. types of characters. I think Shomitra played uh, more uh, with the Elam. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, before I close the interview, two more questions I really keen on knowing. One is, uh, mm -hmm. who do you think is the best opposing lady or someone who complimented Shomitra's acting? powers, you know, mm. through their dialogue delivery, like the, the whole, you know, how do they call it in Hindi, they call it jugal bandhi or some, of sorts, like, That's right. do you think met it, met that criteria, what do you call? See, it is difficult to mention one, because I can just say some movies, uh, you know, so for example, uh, people talk about Shomitra Chatterjee's performances with Shormila Thakur in Opu Shankar or yes. Onni Dinratri or Devi, you know, of course, these are seminal films, legendary films, which he has worked. But with Shormila Thakur, there is a, 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 a movie uh, by Ajay Kaur called, uh, I'm forgetting the name. Um, it, it was a commercial movie. I, I don't know. It's in my book also. I'm just blanking out. A, a, anyway, so um, where, you know, it was such a good Jugal Bandi since you mentioned. It yes. is just a story of one evening. Uh, and, uh, you know, they play it so well. So, uh, definitely Shomitra and Shormila were one of the... But what I don't... Uh, what I found fascinating was his uh, performances with uh, Aparna Shen also. Right. You know, of course, later I was fortunate to work in both of them in Boshu Podibar as the couple. Yes. Uh, but uh, if you see uh, his slapstick comedy, you say... Uh, um, Boshun to be lapped with uh, uh, Aparna Shen and many other such uh, funny, uh, you know, uh, even like I comedy. probably mentioned like Teen Kona, the last one, Shamakti. That is Shamakti was uh, Aparna yes. Shen, you know, uh, but uh, I, I think I'm talking about more of the commercial uh, fair in Bengali right. cinema where uh, they have done some memorable performances together which mm -hmm. is uh, extremely good. Though, you know, as an actress, I would not rate Aparna Shin as, you know, uh, at par with uh, one of some of the, for example, Shabitri Chatterjee, I feel, is a much better actress than Aparna Shin. You know, okay. I hope she's not listening to this, but uh, but she also knows, I think. You know, I, yeah. I remember when I approached uh, Aparna Shin for Boshu Puribar, just before that, I had worked with Konkona in Kadambal. Right. And uh, she herself had told me that, Shuman, you should be aware that I, I'm nowhere close to Konkona in uh, acting. Oh. So, uh, you know, because you have been spoiled by Konkona, don't expect the same thing with <laughs> that me. That is insane. So I said, I also agree. Yeah, I said that I agree that uh, with uh, Konkona, is, she's one of the greatest actresses ever yes. in Indian cinema. So, uh, yeah, but Shomitra and Aparna Shen's Jugal Bandi, in, particularly in many comedy films, uh, yes. was uh, marvelous. So, I would say to go back to your question, uh, yeah. yes, uh, Shomila Thakur and Aparna Shen are the two. Uh, yes. yeah. And the last mm. question, my last question for today's session would be, so uh, when I was obviously talking to people and telling them about, you know, who Shomitra Chatterjee is, like in my office, they're like, oh, so we have heard he's the Amitabh Bachchan of Bengali cinema. But I personally feel he's like a lot more than that, isn't he? So who do you think Shomitra Chatterjee is in the context in the arena of Bengali cinema? No, you know, with Amitabh Bachchan, I find a very good parallel last few years, if you think about it. Yes. Uh, I remember, so so Amitabh Bachchan is, uh, I exactly don't know, but almost 80 or maybe more than 80 now. Yes. Probably. You know, I, I, I cannot, uh, close to 80 for sure. Okay. If you see, he's still one of the biggest stars in Hindi cinema, right? Amitabh Bachchan. Yes. And Shomit, same with Shomitra Chatterjee before he passed away. And I remember, I think four or five years back, simultaneously two films were ruling the Bombay film industry and the Bengali film industry. The one was uh, in Bombay film, Piku really, Shuji Chorka's right. Piku, yes. which was such a big hit, you know. Mm. And parallelly in Bengal, Balashishi released. She was yes. with Shomitra. Mm. And, you know, I remember talking to many people and even I told Shomitra Chatterjee that it is... It, it's a nice feeling also that uh, two people, Shomitra was uh, just past 80, um, Amitabh Bachchan was almost 80, 
and uh, you know they are still uh, ruling the box office in bengal uh, you know so uh, not only balashishi you know there are uh, films uh, like posto he did which were box office hits and at the same time he was doing a film like moirakki which uh, was such a you contrast. know nuanced uh, performance contrast Hmm. and if you see amitabh bachchan he is doing the same thing in bollywood films you know he he is still doing an action film as against a piku which is more a bali uh, you know gharwa film like exactly. rishikesh mukherjee films uh, he is doing a badla which is a thriller right. you know so uh, you know so in that sense i find extreme similarity between shomitra kaku and uh, amitabh bachchan in what they were doing but uh, you know i don't want to rate like this um, uh, you know shomitra ji was much more than that you know the the amount of star all india stardom which yes. amitabh bachchan uh, you know got in the uh, 80s and uh, 90s mm-hmm. and whatever even now that's also a very big uh, yes. you know achievement yes. and uh, often times we bengalis try to uh diminish the uh, you know stardom factor yes. know, and uh, so, we have a trend so, towards in- intellectualism intellectual. for right. which probably we will uh, rate shomitra higher but to me yes. i think uh, both are uh, legends in indian cinema in their own mm. ways shomitra never went to bollywood but you know he is uh, so you know because i live in the us i know that shomitra is more popular than amitabh bachchan in the us because okay. of the ashutojit uh, rai films right. you know uh, mm-hmm. when i went to film school but amitabh bachchan is amitabh bachchan so uh, you know i would say that you know both are in their you know pedestals in the same place right. yeah so sir it was really nice talking to you considering i probably extended the interview more than it required because i was having a lot of fun talking to you knowing about shomitra mm-hmm. chandra so much but uh, and i'm really hope i really hope that your book is coming out in january 19th which is shomitra chatterjee's birthday right yes right right so would you like leave a nice note for the audience to read it or something yeah first of all before the audience i might i would thank you also because i also lost track of time talking to you so thank you very much for the wonderful uh, exchange and uh, you know uh, to the audience i would say that uh, um read the book for a reason in the sense that it is like a personal love letter from mm-hmm. me to shomitra kaku mm-hmm. and wrote in the form of a book so uh, you know so read that love letter um, and and uh, i think that will enrich you in some way or the other whether it is you are a aspiring actor or whether you are a aspiring uh, you know writer or a painter or just a normal uh, you know father or a son you know i i i think i try to encompass the entire gamut of the person of shomitra charaji and which will uh, you know people can take away something whatever their profession whatever their age whatever their straight eyes so thank you so much uh, again to your festival for giving me this opportunity thank you, thank you. really nice talk bye bye sure